Hey guys, it's Michael Straight of Fitness. I want to show you a very easy way to get rid of your shoulder pain. Now there are two things that I do almost every day and they keep my shoulders nice and supple. Now before I show you what it is, I want to explain to you real quick. So everybody has shoulder blades, right? And that's like a triangular. Actually, Maria, can you come over here real quick? No, I just want to show you, I want to show them your shoulder blade. So can you, actually, can you turn around real quick? So yeah, thank you Maria for doing this. So everybody has a shoulder blade on both sides, obviously, and it's kind of like a triangular bone right there. Now Maria, can you raise your left hand up all the way up above your head? Now when you raise your hands up, that shoulder blade will rotate. Now, can you put your hand back down? Now let's say you don't have proper flexibility in the rotator cuff and all the muscles that are attached to your shoulder. Then what happens is, as, let's raise your hand up again then your shoulder blade will not be able to rotate as much and all the muscles in the bottom and the top, they will get impinged. So when you have shoulder pain, you, you can put your hand out. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, let's give it up for Maria and La Palma. Um, when you have shoulder pain, a lot of times it's because you have impingement. And that's nothing more than raising your hand up and your shoulder blade or other stuff is gonna squeeze muscles together or ligaments together. You just don't have the right length tension relationship in your muscles. Now there is one easy way of solving all of that and it's so simple that you're going to think that it's too good to be true. But here it is. All you do is you find a bar that you can hang from. And what you're going to do is a relaxed hang. So you grab the bar. Um, you can actually start on the ground if you can't hold yourself up yet. But actually let's start with the easy one. So if you can't hold yourself up yet, so let's sit over here with me. My feet are on the ground, right? So I'll put my feet on the ground. Can you see me? Yeah. You got it? So my feet are on the ground. I'm just gonna relax my whole body. Inhale deep, take a deep breath. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna come all the way down and just relax my shoulders. So as you can see, everything is relaxed. The only thing that's actually tight is my hands. So I'm just relaxing. Now, Eventually you want to step up to doing a real hang with your feet up in the air. And it looks nothing more than this. You just grab the bar, hold on, take a deep breath, and then as you exhale, just come all the way down. And what you're gonna feel is that, first off, can you still hear me? Yeah. So what you're gonna feel is that when you're in this position, you're gonna feel these muscles right here, like if you have your armpit, in the back side of your armpit, it's like tiny little muscles, you're just gonna feel that they go, they stretch out a little bit. And what that does, doing a dead hang or a relaxed hang, it puts everything into the right length tension relationship right there. Work yourself up to about, if you do five minutes a day, I guarantee your shoulder's gonna feel a lot more supple because you're not gonna have impingement anymore. Now that's one way. The second way is to either grab a jump rope or a band that kind of stretches out, and you grab it, keep your arms straight, and you bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, keeping your arms straight, and then bringing it backwards. So from the side, go all the way around, bring it to the front, all the way back, bring it back, all the way to the front. These are called dislocations. Now there's gonna be a point right about here when you feel that your front deltoid, your front deltoid muscles are almost like grinding against your bones and it just loosens everything up. Now, if this is too hard for you, then start very wide. Just make sure your arms stay straight. Start very wide, go out like that. If that gets comfortable, then go a little bit more narrow. Eventually, you wanna be able to go about shoulder width and really go backwards and feel it right there. So, what I always do before every workout, I go about two sets of 10 on this right here. I recommend doing a band because then at the very tight point, at least you can able, you're able to stretch out a little bit. If you do a jump rope, you don't have that flexibility. So those two exercises right there might just cure all your shoulder problems. Of course, I can't make you any specific promises. If you have a tear in your rotator cuff, then that's something you need to get checked out. However, from what I found, people complain about shoulder problems and they go see a specialist too early. Where in reality, they can do these simple, easy stretches at home or in the gym or somewhere where you can just hang from a bar somewhere and it might just solve all your problems and you might just be feeling great 
next time you work out. Because here's the deal, guys. If your shoulder goes out, then really you can't do anything. You can't even do a deadlift because you can't hold on to the bar. Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit like. And I look forward to seeing you next video.